Okay, ladies and gentlemen, ADS Play 101. We're back again with another Azar Real Taste Test video. If you guys enjoy these, you know, hit that follow button. I do a lot of things on here. But today we're going to be trying something that I have been wanting to try my whole damn life. I'm not even lying to you. Since a kid, I have wanted to try this. I have not been able to get to Japan on my own due to personal reasons and personal, you know, financial reasons and things like that. But regardless of the fact, when I was at the chiropractor, a new restaurant opened up next to it called 88 Bao Bao. That's right, 88 Bao Bao. And on the menu, they had the item that I have been wanting to try my whole damn life. Tokoyaki. Now, for those who do not know what tokoyaki is, it is chopped pieces of octopus and I believe it's like a dumpling and like a fried dumpling and they top it typically they top it with like mayo and things like that or like you know traditional toppings um and I don't I'm not sure if one of these sauces is supposed to go on top of this but that's the hot chili on uh I'm assuming this sauce is supposed to go with it I don't know what the hell that is but it's there. <laughs> but we finna open this up and we finna try this. So give me a second. Oh, you already got toppings on it. Okay, bet. So here we are. So this is a six piece order. And the order is six pieces. Uh, it comes, you know, as is. Um, and this was, I, th I think like $6. $6, so they charge you like a dollar a piece pretty much. Um, and again, the name of the place is called 88 Bao Bao. And I'm definitely finna... Shit, hold on. Let me do this with one hand. Hold on. There we go. I'm finna crack these chopsticks. Booyah. Get that out the way. Get these little shards of wood off of there. I know it sounds it seems weird, but I gotta take care of this how I need to. There I go. For those that don't know, sometimes when you break chopsticks, like the little ends right there that you break it at, you got little splinters of wood, and I try to like get rid of them. Um, so with that being said, let me get my hands right. First off, they smell good, but I'm definitely gonna try these. So let's go with uh, this one right here. It seems like it got a lot on it. Bye bye. So let's try it. Now I never had octopus before either, so this is gonna be a first and probably the only time I'm gonna eat octopus. But I definitely wanted this experience. So let's go for it. All right, though. Okay. Let me go for one more. That's weird. Okay, so there's obviously more batter, which is anytime I've ever seen a video on tokoyaki, there's always um, more batter than octopus in the balls, obviously. Um, but I will say this, I think let's try to open, them, open one of them up.
Okay. It's in there. I'm just trying to. Damn. Am I coming out? <laughs> Hold on. Give me a second. There we go. I had to open up with my finger. All right. So if you can see, there's two pieces of octopus in there. I'm trying to get one of them out. There we go. Right there. There you go, right there. Now, considering this is my first time having octopus, first of all, let me just say that the batter tastes real good. The batter is good. But the octopus, to me, since I've never had it before, it has kind of like, I want to say like a lobster texture to it. It has like a a somewhat like a firm texture that has like kind of like a I don't know it's kind of weird to describe but it almost gives off like a firm fish texture I guess that that's the best way to put it I mean I heard that if you um, cook it for too long it could become rubbery and things like that but it seemed like they cooked it for the proper amount of time and um they topped it with a uh, with some good toppings. That sauce on it is amazing. The the pastry, I mean the batter, is good. It's well seasoned. Um, yeah, like I kind of like it. I don't know if I'm gonna order it again, but it's good. You know, um, I kind of want to try it from different places. I actually want to try it from Japan personally, but cause I'm pretty sure the experience would be much different there. But from what I got, I will say this. I am happy with it. You know, so this gets a thumbs up. Um, you know, I can't really thumbs thumbs up. Boom. <laughs> thumbs up right there. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, getting finished eating this. So, I mean, like I said, I like it. I, I think the taste isn't for everybody. Um, but I am happy that I was finally able to try this. Because this is like off my bucket list of things that I wanted to do as, since a kid. So, I guess my next thing is actually going to Japan personally and trying it out, you know, because I've seen videos of, like, street vendors in Japan, and they top it with, like, Japanese mayo, uh, f some fish flakes and green onions and things like that. So, I actually want to see if it actually tastes different, you know, or if the flavor or, if, or the experience of trying it is different in the actual land of the rising sun. But with that being said, man, thank you guys for watching very much. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, make sure to hit that, that subscribe button, man. Hope to see you guys again for another taste test. And remember, be hungry in victory, be great, be humble in victory, be gracious in defeat, but show no mercy to Tokoyaki. Peace.